Ames Coffee will be coming to you over a good part of central Iowa. And Ames Coffee Nut and a car buff are working together to put what is possibly Iowa's first coffee truck on the road. Sounds good. KCTI's Vanessa Pang shows us what's brewing in Ames. In their world, it's the beans. It's always been a passion of mine, coffee. Just a few blocks away, it's the wheels. Something that I thought I would have a lot of fun working on. So the coffee obsessed and the car obsessed mix dark roast with aluminum. The Bergie's company and my company kind of swing around in different circles, and it's been neat to bring those two together. Andrew and Jordan Bergeson at Bergie's Coffee want to keep up with what they say is a rapidly changing market. Our goal was to deliver coffee kind of in a different platform that had been delivered before. At Skunk River Restoration, Steve Myers was up for a challenge. Any system that is on it needed upgraded. The wiring, the brakes, the engine, the suspension, the paint. Eight months his team has been laboring on a 1958 Grumman Olsen. This is what the truck first looked like when they bought it. Now, they got it from a New Jersey junkyard, and it was used mostly as a moving truck in Martha's Vineyard. And now it'll be stopping at staple locations in Ames and Des Moines, brewing up caffeine with a special touch, a little art you can't get anywhere else in the metro area from Iowa's likely first ever coffee truck. When people see that heart in their drink, it, they smile. And, you know, that's the main focus is making someone's day. Vanessa Payne, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Now, the guys tell us they want to go back to the basics when it comes to coffee, and you can expect to see the truck out on the streets in early November. They plan to have the truck stop two to three spots a day.